What is up, bros and brats? I'm Inksasha44, and today is story time. So this time, it's a little bit different. I'm adding in the gameplay. I'm putting my face in the top corner. Uh, a lot of you wanted this, so let me know. Leave a like rating if you enjoy it. Is it better? Is it worse? Do you, would you rather just have me on screen, or do you want the gameplay going while I talk? Uh, I think a lot of you wanted the gameplay, so that's why I'm including it. As you're going to notice, there are no more like posters behind me. There's no more pictures. It's actually because we're moving, and... Uh, I'm no longer going to be in this room, unfortunately. I love, love this room. My bed's in the corner, and, like, my huge desk set up here. I wish I could keep it, but it's not working out. So, uh, we're moving to a new house, and I'm still gonna have videos going on. Don't you worry about that. Everything's gonna be just like normal, uh, but just I'm gonna be in a different location. But, today, that's not what we're talking about, as you could probably tell. Last time I did one of these story times, we talked about how I almost died. This time we're going to talk about another misfortunate event that actually happened to me, and it is when I got stitches on my eye. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have this huge scar that goes right underneath my eyebrow right here. And it's a really, really interesting and a little bit funny of a story. Um, and it starts out and I think the summer of 2013, um, it was I think around June, and what we did that year is every single Sunday we would go bowling. Uh, me and a few guys from work, and sometimes my girlfriend, uh, we'd always go bowling. Reason being, it was $9 for three hours of bowling. That is retardedly cheap where I'm from. And, on top of that, it was $2 a beer. Yes, $2 a beer. That is the cheapest beer around here by far. I know if you live in the States, beer in some states is a little bit cheaper than that. But for here, the next best you'll find is like $4 a beer at any other bar. So this was like the best place to go to drink, to have a good time. It was awesome. And uh, we'd go every Sunday. And this particular Sunday, it was just me and two guys from work. And I'm not going to lie, we had quite a bit to drink that night. Anyway, came back home, got home, um, called my girlfriend, and then I'm having this conversation with my girlfriend, and me, being the asshole drunk that I was being, got in a fight with my girlfriend, she got mad at me, hung up on me, so I was all flustered, I was not I was basically pissed off at her, even though she should definitely have been the one that was pissed off at me, uh, that's generally the way it is if you're a guy and have a girlfriend and she's mad at you, just agree with everything she says, it'll get by a lot quicker, trust me on this one. But anyway, so I'm like, you know what, you're just going to go to bed, get it over with. So over to my right here, maybe your left, I don't exactly know how we, this works. I'm, yeah, so my right, your left, is um, basically this the entrance to my room. And over there, I was getting ready for bed, the bathroom's over there. I took off my pants uh, over in that corner over there. Um, basically where you see that closet, that is where I took off my pants, walked to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, walking back to my bed trip over my pants and you can see over there there's kind of like this edge like it comes to a peak i hit my eye right underneath my eyebrow right on that edge the only freaking edge in this entire room i hit my eye on it and i hit it good like i mean to the point where basically there was blood on the wall like you could see the blood like on the corner like on like the peak there and then all down that wall that's how good i cut it open but me being drunk didn't even know I cut myself. I was like, ow, oh, that hurt. I fell. I get into bed and then I feel like blood running down my face. I put my hand on my face and there's blood on it. I'm like, god damn, okay, uh, let's go to the bathroom and see what this looks like. I go to the bathroom, look in it and uh, look at it and it, it's, it's pretty bad, but I didn't think it was too bad. So I try calling my girlfriend. She's mad at me, won't answer the phone. Finally, eventually she answers the phone. I'm like, listen. I gotta get to the hospital because this isn't stopping bleeding. And then she's just like, oh no, you're just saying that, so I'll talk to you, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, really, this is like actually really bad. She's like, I'm going to bed, as she probably should have done. After that, I call one of the guys that I was out drinking with. I'm like, dude, I got to get to the hospital. And he's just like, uh, well, I can't drive right now. I'm like, of course you can't drive. Like, I'm just like, what should I do? Like, no buses are running at this time. It was really early in the morning, three in the morning. Um, no buses are running, what should I do? And he's like, give me an hour, I'll go to sleep, I'll come pick you up in an hour, and we'll drive to the hospital. I'm just like, first of all, I'm gonna, like, bleed like crazy by that point. Second of all, you are not driving in an hour, because that is not safe whatsoever. He's like, fine, I'll come pick you up on my bike. Clearly you can see how drunk he is at this point if he's going to pick me up on his bike. Um, so obviously we didn't do that. So I'm like, you know what? 
I'm just going to go to bed. I'm going to fall asleep. This will be healed in the morning. I don't have to worry about it. Done. So I go lay in bed, and I feel blood trickling down my face. Because I sleep on my stomach. It's to my side. I feel it trickling down my face. There's now blood getting all over my bed. It looks like I'm a 12-year-old girl for the first time in her life. You know what's happening. But it wasn't. It was coming out of my face. So I'm like, okay, I can feel this. This isn't going to be good. I, I've drank, so my blood's thinner. I'm just going to keep bleeding. I need to go to the hospital. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to wake up my parents. I go, go upstairs, um, wake up my mom, and say, Mom, do you have anything to get this to stop bleeding? My mom instantly says, turns on the light, looks at me, yeah, it's called a hospital. So she takes me to the hospital. Um, I'm sitting there. They ask me how much I drank. I'm like, I drank quite a bit, but like not enough to like, warrant this like it, it wasn't that bad and by that point i was pretty much sober because we had to wait in the waiting room and all of that stuff um and then comes the stitches part uh so the doctor comes in and literally goes okay we're gonna need to stitch this up uh do you want i can't give you staples because it's too close to your eye so i'm gonna have to stitch it um he comes in and grabs this needle huge freaking needle to to numb it right and puts the needle right into my eye. Like, right into my eye. It's one of the sketchiest things that I've ever had. Like, you could see him coming in, coming in, coming in. As it turns out, I got 18 stitches. 18 stitches on my eye. And while he's doing this, I can kind of feel him pulling my eyelid. Turns out, I needed 3 stitches on my eyelid and 15 under my eyebrow. 18 stitches in this little area here. It was insane. If I can find a picture, I'll throw it in the video somewhere. You may have already seen it, but... Yeah, um, so anyway, the next day I wake up after getting these stitches and my girlfriend is still mad at me. So what I have to do is I had to go to the grocery store to buy her flowers to make it up for her. Good idea. If a girlfriend's ever mad at you, flowers is the way to go. But besides that, um, I work at the grocery store. So I come in um, with this huge cut on my eye and buy flowers. What does that look like? It looks like my girlfriend beat the shit out of me and I'm buying her flowers for it. But anyway, I just thought that part of it was really funny. But yes, 18 stitches on my eye. It wasn't the most comfortable thing in the world. I literally felt no pain through this whole thing because when I cut it open, I was too drunk. By the time I got stitches, he gave me anesthetic. Wasn't a bad experience overall. Just a really funny story. So, if you enjoyed, like I said, go ahead and hit that me up with that like button. It'd be super greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time... Peace out.